Hey everyone, it's Carrie from Carrie's Wreath Creations. I am here today to show you how to make a flower center out of wired ribbon. So what we're gonna be making is this little ribbon rosette. Um, so this is uh, something that you can use in the center of a flower style wreath. Um, you could use it as sort of a little decoration on any other type of wreath if you wanted to, but this is made out of wired ribbon. Um, so I'm gonna, I have one that's completed obviously to show you that, and then I'm gonna show you how to get it started. And then I have one that's kind of halfway done that we'll finish up on. So as far as the supplies you're gonna need for this project, you do need a small piece of this plastic canvas mesh. Now you find this in the embroidery section of a craft store. So if you go to the, where they have the embroidery thread, they have this, this is number five. The number on it refers to how big the squares are. Um, you could really use number five or number seven. Um, it really doesn't matter. Um, it comes in a sheet. I had a bunch of scraps left over. Um, so what I did was I just cut what I needed. So I'll show you the wreath I'm gonna be putting my center on, um, but this is three inches that I cut and it all just depends on what size the center of your wreath is. So you need a piece of this. You're gonna need a pipe cleaner, which is gonna be used on the back in order to put something to attach your wreath to. Uh, you of course need your wired ribbon. Um, I'm using one and a half inch wired ribbon and I'm cutting six inch strips. So I have all my ribbon already cut, but I cut it at six inches and I did cut a total of 15 of them for the half done uh, rosette that I'm gonna finish off. Um, I don't think you are going to need all 15. On this one, I used a total of 13, um, but I think maybe we'll try to get 14 on this one. Um, I am gonna be using zip ties for this project to attach my ribbon. Um, you could you know, maybe use floral wire or whatever you have on hand, but for me, I have zip ties on hand. These are six inch zip ties. They are much too long for this project, but again, this is what I have on hand, so that's what I'm going to use. You'll need something to clip your zip ties with, and of course you're gonna need scissors in order to cut your ribbon. I'm also going to be using hot glue just on one piece of ribbon though. So um, hot glue is optional, but I do feel like it's kind of necessary for, actually I'm gonna be using it on my little center loop. Okay, so let's just talk about first, how do you figure out what size you need? So I'm working on this ribbon wreath. Okay, it's on a unique in the creek board. If you're familiar with those, it's on a small unique in the creek board. And I wanna make sure that my center that I'm making is going to cover um, my zip ties and my little nubs of, of uh, ribbon. So what I did was I kind of took a ruler and just measured, and this was about two and a half inches. So what I did was I took my sheet of plastic canvas and just measured a three inch diameter circle. So once I put this in here, I'm gonna have uh, some loops of ribbon that come out a little bit further. And then obviously I'm gonna have the mesh all covered so that'll be a good size center for this flower. You could of course adapt this to whatever size you needed to, um, but depending on your wreath, okay? So let's talk about how we're going to get this started. Now, for the one that's already mostly done, that's the one that's gonna go on the wreath I just showed you, I ended up doing eight loops on kind of my outside layer. So let's talk about how to get that started. I'm gonna go ahead and just use some more of this pink to kind of start off just to show you how to do that, and then we'll just work on this one since the process does get a bit repetitive. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my piece of plastic canvas and I'm taking my zip tie. I am gonna go up through the bottom with my zip tie. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want all the little nubs, the little ends of my zip tie to be on the back. So I'm gonna go, and what I'm doing here is I'm just I'm taking my, my, my circle of mesh here, and I am just kind of to keep things consistent of where I'm gonna place them, I'm gonna go kind of on this curve here, and I'm gonna go like two squares down, and that's where my zip tie is gonna go. So I'm just going to feed it up through one square and down through the very next square. Make sure my zip tie is gonna be facing the right way so I can latch it on the back. Whoops, sorry, I'm bumbling a little bit here. So just like this, okay? Kind of hard to see, but if you can tell up close, I went down basically two squares and then that's where I put my zip tie. I went up through one hole, down through the next, and I am gonna go ahead and latch it on the back. Again, that's the back that I'm 
putting my little um, end of my zip tie on. Okay, I do need to have the loop coming out the top though for where I'm gonna put my piece of ribbon, okay? So for my ribbon, now you know most ribbon, it has a right way and a wrong way, um, especially if it's something with a pattern. These solid colors, sometimes it's hard to tell where the um, what the right side is and what the wrong side is after you've cut it, but as long as you're being consistent. So what you're gonna do is just take your six inch piece of ribbon, fold it in half, Okay, don't press this because you're gonna have to fluff this up anyways. So just kind of bring your two ends together and then just scrunch them up together like this. So you have this little, just a little bit here. Okay, not anything too long. Um, again, you could adapt this to be longer or shorter pieces. I'm going with six inch pieces. So then I'm just taking my little end and I'm going to put that into my zip tie. And again, these zip ties are way too long for this project, but it's what I have, so that's what I'm using. Okay, and I just pull it in like that. Okay, here's the back, clip that off. Now for me, I like to be, I like to have some kind of pattern and be sort of consistent with how I'm adding my loops. So for this um, three inch diameter, as I said before, I managed to get eight pieces. Um, and so the way I figured that out was if you just, so I put one, my first one's here. If I just go exactly opposite from it, and again, I'm just gonna sort of go down two squares and then sort of in the middle of this curved side here is where I'm putting my next zip tie. Um, what I'll end up doing is um, putting, I'm kind of just going across from that the previous one and then I'll do the same thing again here and here, and then here and here and here and here. So they just, just so they kind of line up, um, but that's that's kind of how I figured that out. So again, you take your six inch piece of ribbon, bring your two ends together and just scrunch that. So you have a little nub and you know, ribbon, you can see a little thread here maybe on camera. Ribbon does fray a bit, so you'll have a little bit of fray, um, but what can you do? Um, it'll all get hidden by the other pieces that you're adding on, okay? So just tighten that, okay? So there's my loop, there's the back, cut that off. Okay, so just like that, okay? Don't worry too much about fluffing these yet because you're gonna be working on this and once you get it into the wreath is really what you're gonna, when you're gonna wanna plump up those, the pieces of ribbon. So I'll do one more piece. So again, how I would start off my next piece, I'm gonna go, now I'm just gonna go here and here for my next two pieces. So again, I'm going about two squares down and then up one, down the one right next to it, just like this, latch on the back. Okay, make sure my loop is going up in the direction I want it to, take my six inch piece of wired ribbon, fold it in half and then just scrunch, put that into the zip tie and tighten your zip tie, just like that, okay? And clip off the back. Okay, so that's our first three pieces. I'm gonna speed up a little bit now, but then basically what you do for the remainder of the pieces on this uh, layer, I guess you would call it, the next place I would go would be opposite of the piece I just added, okay? And then I have enough space to put one in between where each of those four pieces would be. So it lays out nice and evenly, just like this. Okay, so this is eight pieces. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at the back. That helps, okay? So now, like I said, I have a total of 15 pieces of this six inch wire ribbon cut. I don't know that I'm gonna use all of it. On this one, I ended up doing eight on the outside and then I did four and then one in the middle. So it's a total of, what is that, eight plus four, 13. I think I really wanna do five on kind of this next layer and then the one in the middle, because I feel like this, it is, once you kind of push it all up, you don't have any holes, but I feel like there could, it could just be a little bit tighter on that second round. So that's what I'm gonna do. So when I come in here, actually before you do that, take the, whatever you're gonna attach this with, in my case, I'm using a pipe cleaner. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and feed that through the middle right now so it's just going down one hole and then down the one that's right next to it the only reason i do this now 
See, that's right in the center. The only reason I do that now is if you forget and you start getting all your little pieces of ribbon in there, it might be kind of hard to feed it through later. So we can just do that part right now. It's not gonna get in our way. Now, where am I gonna go with this zip tie? What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just go kind of right where the fabric or the, the ribbon, kind of right where it ends is where I'm gonna put the zip tie. So like right in those two holes, kind of hard to see maybe on camera, but I am gonna go up one, down the other, just like I did before, and latch it on the back. And so if you can see that, that's where my zip tie is. Okay, so kind of right below where that the little nub of our ribbon is ending or, or where that where it's laying is kind of where the next one is going. So again, same idea where I just fold it in half, scrunch, and then put that into the zip tie. Just like this, okay? So that lays out pretty nicely with where the last row left out, left off, okay? Snip that off. Now, instead of going in a pattern here, I think I'm just gonna keep putting them in until they're right next to each other, or, or to kind of put the next one so it's touching this one so that they all lay next to each other. I think that should be five. We'll see when we, hopefully we don't mess up too bad, but hopefully that's gonna work out. So I think it should. So, <clears throat> I'm just kind of going pretty close to where I left off because I'm going to have that next piece of ribbon touching the, the one I just put in. So I can kind of tell by where I'm placing my zip tie where that's going to lay. So if you can see, that's the one I just added. And here's where the zip tie is next to it. Okay, take my ribbon, fold it in half, scrunch the end and place that right in there. Okay, and tighten it up, just like that. Okay, so there's my second piece and it's just right next to that first piece. Okay, we'll play around with making this look pretty when we're done. There's really no point in doing a whole lot of fluffing while you're still working on it because you're gonna, you're gonna end up flattening your ribbon a little bit. Okay, now before I go ahead and do the next piece, I do wanna make sure I give my, uh, my hot glue gun has been heating up and so uh, this is just a recommendation but when you get to your center loop that's actually this one i recommend that you glue it like this and then you'll attach it into the zip tie i just find that it's um just easier to hide that that sort of last zip tie that you have um by doing this by by putting it in like this it's just a recommendation. It's not anything you have to do. It might, might, might make more sense when I actually go in and, and put it in there, what I mean. Um, but I just find it easier to latch and easier to hide if I have it glued. So I'm gonna go ahead and all I do is just put a little dab of glue and just glued it. And I got a whole bunch on my thumb too. We're gonna let that dry. Oops, stuck to me and it's stuck to my finger, because I got a whole glob of glue on my finger. There we go. Okay. All right, so we're gonna let that dry and back to this, okay? So where I left off, I'm going just right next to that one. So up, uh, I kinda wanna go here. It's kind of like threading a needle. Or almost like sewing with these zip ties going through this canvas like this, okay? And I am just always going right into the next square, the one that's right next to wherever I go up through. Um, because this is so thin, you don't really want to have uh, a whole lot of space when you're latching your zip tie uh, because that's the potential for it to get too loose. And you might end up with a bit of a problem if you pull too hard on your ribbon, it might get tugged right out of the zip tie if it's not tight enough. Um, so just go right next to the 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 um the up one square and down the one right next to it and you should be good. Okay. All right. So I got my third one. Again, doesn't look like a whole lot yet, but that's why we keep going. Okay. All right. So the next one, and you do get kind of crowded in here too. So just you can move these little ends aside if there's something in the way of what you want to be doing. 
So let me see. I want that to go. I actually want it to be one more up, I think. One more up and over. So right here. There we go. And I apologize because you're probably not seeing a whole lot, but I'm doing my best to just kind of explain the process because it's really, you can't really, you can't really mess it up. The only way it's going to look not good is maybe just like total a total mess of loops everywhere. And also if you have any of the plastic canvas showing, that's the whole goal is just to hide the plastic canvas, make it look a little bit like a rosette and... That's really our whole goal here. So you can't really mess it up. You might not put yours in the same place that I'm putting mine in. It'll still be okay. Okay. And I'm just clipping off these backs as I go because it's kind of annoying to have them sticking out there. Okay. So there's my fourth one on this sort of second row. So as you can see, these ones, they're all touching. Okay. They're not really overlapping, but they are touching. I got one space left for my, my fifth one. On this row it's gonna be a bit of a tight fit that's okay now you need to go from the bottom I always want to go from the top because it's easier but I like hiding those little ends of the zip tie um, in the back I just think it looks a little cleaner you don't have to worry so much about these little ends poking out when you're looking at the, the little rosette from an angle okay so oops, last one all right, okay, and last one, tighten that. Got a little bit too much in the zip tie there. I don't want it to be, you wanna to try to put the same amount through the zip tie every time, otherwise your loops will be, a, it's not really that big of a deal, but your loops might be, some might, might look smaller, or larger than the other if you are inconsistent about how much goes into the zip tie, okay? So there's my five little loops that I did on my second row, okay? So we just have to fill in this hole in the center. So if you look really close, you can see like we've basically covered everything and that's in the center, which is why I put my pipe cleaner in. And that is, um, I wanna hide all this. So uh, that's what why I created this little loop because it's kind of just gonna sit right here in the center. It's gonna cover everything up. Now, there's enough material in here where if you wanted to put a whole lot of hot glue right there and make sure, of course, it's not gonna show on your ribbon, but you could probably just glue this right down. But for me, what I like to do, now you do have to do this a little differently than you do the other zip ties. You don't wanna close your zip tie, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sort of move all this aside so I can find where I wanna go up through. And honestly, if you sort of push hard enough, you should be able to just get your zip tie to go, to move the ribbon aside and go up where you want it to. So it's just going really close to the center. Let me see, I just need to move some of this aside, I think. I'm trying to go really close to the center. And that's where I had my, um, my pipe cleaner, okay? So I'm, I'm pretty close to the center. It's gonna be good enough. This last one doesn't need to be exact okay and then what i'm going to do so here's where i glued so glue side down okay kind of feed it through that zip tie okay and then you want to feed this back down where's my end there's my end there make sure i don't lose that so then i'm going to just push this back down through a whole one of the squares that i can find here let me see so just move some material aside till you can find a square to go back down through. Just like this, okay. Now I'm a little far on this one. I did not go right up through the one next to it. That's all right, it's the last one. I'm gonna go ahead and latch it and slightly tighten it, not all the way, because most likely, and exactly what I thought would happen, happened. My glued side is not where I want it to be anymore. I want it to be right down at the bottom there, okay? Right where the zip tie is at. So I'm just gonna kind of maneuver that a little till the glue part, the glued part is right here, okay? And there's my zip tie. So now that I have that where I want it, go ahead and tighten it the rest of the way. Okay, give it a good tug. 
okay? And there's my center loop. So then, now I can play around with this now. I can get it on the wreath and play around with it. Um, that's probably what I'll end up doing, but just to kind of show you where we're at, get some of these that got really squashed, repuffed up. But this is where we're at with our little rosette, okay? So you can't see the plastic canvas through it all, and even if you could, you're just gonna rearrange your loops a little bit so that that way um, nothing is showing that you don't wanna have showing, okay? I did end up with one extra piece. So this was a total of 14 pieces. So 14 six inch, six inch pieces of the one and a half inch wired ribbon, okay? And so then finally what I would do, I got my wreath back out that I want this to go on. And since it's a unique in the creek board, I'm just gonna go down two of the op, uh, opposite holes. It's a small board, so it's row four. If you were using, you know, a frame with with maybe a piece of plastic canvas in the center, uh, you would just attach how you would attach any other center to that, okay? And then if I just pull that tight, I'll clean up the back later. But just wanted to show you how that's gonna end up. And of course, since I put it face down, I flattened out my little rosette, but I would just go through here and straighten these out to however I would want them to lay. They're laying out pretty nicely right now. Just maybe move a few of them aside. Okay, and there you have it. There's your little rosette in the center of your wreath. Okay, you see it from the side. You do not see, and the, the way we did it, really the only zip tie you can see a little bit is that very center one, but you'd have to look really hard, and honestly, you can kind of flatten that one out a little bit and not see that at all. Okay, so there's your little ribbon rosette center. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to let me know. Um, in the description box, you'll be able to see links to my social media, Carrie's Wreath Creations on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. Please check out all my other videos on YouTube. I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. Um, and then you can find any of the items in my shop, including completed wreaths and wreath kits at carriesreathco.etsy.com. You'll be able to see that link in the description box below as well. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Take care.